Gracias por estar con nosotros. Yo soy Mario de Cunto. Estamos aquí en tu comunidad. Gracias por volver por nuestro segundo segmento hoy. Y tenemos al candidato Ken Jefferson para sheriff. Thank you, Ken Jefferson, for being here today. My pleasure. <laughs> Ken Jefferson es nuestro segundo candidato de estar acá en el show. Um, y es un placer de tenerlo acá. Uh, where it's very, thank you for coming today, making the time to be here for our Hispanic community to get to meet you. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yes, yes, yes. Eh, estábamos hablando antes del show que eh, nuestro candidato Jefferson ha estado, a, a, se ha postulado tres veces ya para, eh, para sheriff. This is your third time coming on and third time's the charm. La tercera vez es la, es la vengada, ¿no? Yeah, we're working hard. <laughs> Um, this is the third time, and um, the reason I'm doing it again is because the, it's for the people. It's not for Ken Jefferson. The people are begging me or asking me to run yeah. because they want change. They want to see change. Sí. sí, que mucha gente ya está cansada de lo que está viendo y quiere un cambio y saben que el candidato Jefferson tiene la capacidad para hacer el cambio. Uh, es cierto que you have been uh, 24 años, 24 years working with JSO. Ha estado 24 años trabajando y después 11 años eh, trabajando por televisión en los distintos canales 4, 30, 47, eh, trabajando, ayudando a parar crímenes por televisión, haciendo el show donde es un experto el de crimen. Y uh, no sé si lo han visto. Uh, uh, I, was, I don't know if people have recognized you from your show, <laughs> uh, where you were on 30 and you know, 4 and 47, doing your Crime Stopper show, uh, your Crime Expert uh, show. And, uh, and that's very important for our community. Yeah, you know, I, I, I also not only commented on the crime that was going on, but I also always offered safety tips, how to keep yourself safe. How to yes. prevent yourself from becoming a victim. Right. Y sí, tan importante también que ayudaba a la gente a entender qué tiene que hacer para que no ser otro víctima de crímenes. Que es tan importante saber esas cositas que los policías saben. Saben mucho de eso. Um, so, what was been interesting to me while we were before we started, um, you're wanting to run for the people. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, this this race. And this seat is not about me, Ken Jefferson. It's about the people of Jacksonville. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you look like. Uh, you deserve to have professional police <coughs> service. You deserve to have a person in the seat that cares about you and your community. Sí, no, es importante que, que porque él está postulándose para la gente, para poder hacer cambios y saber que la gente tiene alguien que está ahí por ellos. Um, and, and, and that is important because you can't just police the, for the people who voted for you, right? Exactly right. And, and, and if I'm elected as the sheriff, I would be the sheriff for all of Duval County, all 850 square miles. Whether you voted for me or not, you're going to get the same thing that the persons that voted for me get, and that is professional police service. A, a sheriff that's community oriented that will be out and about in the community. I want to meet you. I want to meet your community. I want to be a part of it. I want you to know that we're here for you. It's not us against you. We're here together. That's right. Y él quiere ser el sheriff de todos. No solamente los que votaron por él, pero toda la gente que está involucrada en la comunidad y quiere ser parte de nuestras comunidades para conocerlos a uno al otro y para saber cuáles son nuestras culturas para poder servirlos mejor. <laughs> It's always hard translating. Uh, es tan difícil tra traducir siempre, eh, pero es importante porque nuestra comunidad hispana a veces no entiende siempre. You know, a lot of our Hispanic community just doesn't get access to a lot of folks who are running because they, they go to vote or they don't go to vote because they don't know who's coming out. So it's, that's why it's so important that you're here today and you know your patience and sure. la, la que, que importante la, la paciencia que tiene el, el, el candidato Jefferson para estar con nosotros mientras que yo esté traduciendo eh, porque nuestra comunidad no tiene acceso muchas veces a los candidatos que para sheriff o cualquier candidato 
¿Y qué importancia? Well, that's very important. And you know, the fact that I'm here is because I want to be here. I want to resonate with the Hispanic community. I want to meet uh, as many uh, Spanish people, Hispanic people, as I possibly can, because like you said, they don't always get out, they don't always vote. So I want them to recognize that they have a candidate that's concerned about them. That's why I'm here. Y sí, y estando acá, él quiere conocer a la gente, quiere realmente saber quiénes son, eh, somos nosotros, nuestra comunidad hispana, y, y para que ellos también tengan una relación con él, para que él pueda conocerlos y entender todas las necesidades que tenemos, que son varias, son distintas. We're, we're a different community, we have different needs, and, um, and, and what's interesting about our Hispanic community, too, is that there's so many different variety within the Hispanic community. You know, a lot of the, you know, back in the day when it was Cubans and Puerto Ricans, you just had two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you spoke to this guy and this lady and you were square. You got it. You, you knew everybody. Uh, but now it's so many, you know, we have so many, uh, a large population of, of, of folks coming from South America, you know, yeah. um, uh, naturalized, uh, you know, citizens from Mexico. Uh, all people who have never voted before, you know, we, we went to those naturalization uh, ceremonies. People are getting here in Jacksonville, we're, we're turning over citizens. Yeah. We're yes, getting citizens yes, every are. day. Yes, you are. And, many, and, many. and they need to know that law enforcement here is for their protection, right. not for anything else but for their protection. If, if they see a problem, if they have a problem, they need to call the law enforcement agency, the GSO. Let us know if there's a language problem or a language barrier. As your sheriff, I'll see, I'll ensure that we have the proper interpreters there so that you can get access to emergency services as quick as possible. Eh, hablando de, de tantos inmigrantes que tenemos, que todos los días tenemos tantos inmigrantes, y el, el, sheriff, el candidato para sheriff nos, nos, nos aseguró que él quiere tener los, los traductores disponibles para que cuando ustedes llamen, es para que sepan que es para su protección. Que la relación entre la policía y la gente, lamentablemente en nuestros países no siempre es así. Pero acá no se puede uno estar seguro si no ve a la policía como una fuente de seguridad para poder prevenir los crímenes. And I was just explaining to our community, like a lot of the times we don't have that relationship with police officers where we came from, Correct. because unfortunately, Police a lot of are, are very corrupt, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, you know, you would pay <laughs> a police officer if you got pulled over and, you know, you needed to get home and you didn't want your car impounded, you'd have to yeah. pay him off. And, uh, you know, if that's the relationship that you're used to, so it's very hard to change the, that. As the sheriff, I will continue to have my officers train that when they come across a person who, where there's a language barrier of some sort, that they have to use proper discretion and compassion and yeah. understand what they're going through so that they can properly handle it. They'll be trained on that, that, yes. that, that, that sort of thing, because it, just because there's a language barrier does not mean that um, you need to be arrested for a minor offense that you may or may not be aware of okay. or may not understand. That's right. So we'll have compassion, we'll have discretion um, being drilled into the officers and, and I understand what a lot of people come from with the corruption and paying off officers, this, that, and other. None of that under my watch. No, oh, no, of course not. And uh, you know, that does, I'm not saying that occurs here, but in our countries, that's a very common thing. Right. You know, in order for you to be able to just have a normal life, you have to, you know, you, you have to be able to pay off. Uh, but anyway, no, lo importante que, que nuestro candidato nos está haciendo recordar es que él, debajo del mandado de él, quiere seguir con, las, con las entrenamien los entrenamientos de los policías para que sepan bien cómo manejar los casos cuando hay una, cuando hay una persona que no sabe hablar inglés y para que ellos vengan en una posición de compasión y de entendimiento. Eh, y eso solo puede rendir con los con un sheriff que sabe la importancia de esos entrenamientos. Um, so just, you know, bringing back the point of the, you knowing the importance of having those trainings for our folks mm -hmm. so that they can continue to have that compassion. Well, I would hope that uh, your viewers would vote for me. 
<risa> Vota por mí. <risa> Así es, mira. Ya, ya, ya aprendió la parte más importante de español. You learned the most important line. <laughs> But you, a pleasure to talk. you also say hola, como estás, pretty well, too. I can say hola, como estás. Yeah, I can say yeah. that good. Yeah, you say that well. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being here on the show today, taking your time to come here to uh, talk with our Hispanic community and you know, wish you the best of luck with everything. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. Y todo agradeciéndolo al candidato eh, Ken Jefferson por estar acá hoy y por eh, compartir un poquito de su plataforma para Sheriff y su interés para comunicarse con la comunidad hispana. Bueno, muchas gracias por estar en el show hoy. Espero verlos en la siguiente edición de Aquí en tu Comunidad y siempre acuérdense de que se tengan respeto entre ustedes. Gracias. <risa> 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 <risa>